Welcome to Hey Man, I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. How you doing? Good man, how are you? I'm doing very well. Now, we we have these three weeks where we're not going on the road together. Can't wait to not see you. Yeah. (laughs) 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 What? <laughs> well, that I mean that answers the next question. That is, I think it answers a lot of questions. Yeah, actually, the ne- my next question was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I, all I know is it's not gonna be. <laughs> Although you are coming to my house on July fourth, so you better play nice. Oh, I I'm coming there, but you know, you're there's enough room for me to not see you for sure. I, I, and by the way, the feeling and I love you and traveling with you is great. Is mutual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's best. We're still gonna see each other once a week, twice a week. Show the Monday night show here. Oh, that's plenty of time. We're performing for the July weekend. Yeah, we don't need to. I'm gonna babysit the dog on that's Sunday. Amazing. There's a ton of shit happening yeah, that like yeah. we always. I'm see throwing each out the first pitch at the Aviators game. Are you gonna come? Oh, I'm definitely coming. I have a serious question though. How am I gonna do it? How's your shoulder? Terrible. Okay. So, you know, it might be kind of funny if you practice like a softball pitch and you fucking speed underhanded it. Ooh, I like that idea. The last time I tried to speed underhand, it went straight up in the air. Also funny. Yeah. Um, like, or, or you could just do it where it's like, hey, I can't throw from the mound. So you just go like four feet in front of the catcher and just do this. I like that. Might also be kind of funny. Also funny. Or if you bowled it to him. Or there's a ton of things I think you could do. That's funny. What if, because I fucked. Fuck up my shoulder. What if I walk out to the mound and I call for a relief pitcher and you come in and throw out the first pitch? Hey, you know I can get there. Look, if the aviators even need someone to throw a couple innings, you know I'll get out there. Yeah, I don't think they need anyone. <laughs> but hey, aviators, I don't know, special celebrity, celebrity, like a celebrity shot in beer pong. I'm not a celebrity, but you know what I mean. It's yeah, I was going to say, who, what celebrity do they have and come to throw out the first pitch? <laughs> Neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways. That's why it's a triple A game. Guys. <laughs> Back. Although I've thrown out a first pitch before. Yeah. When was the last Have one? Have you though? been at all the ones that I threw out the first pitch? Uh, I was at the Red Sox one. I was at the Oakland one. Where I got booed? <laughs> at the Sox one? No. Yeah. In Oakland, I got booed. When did you get? Why did you get booed in Oakland? Don't you remember? So I was okay. So they brought you out after the war hero. That was Boston. No, that was Oakland. I'll bet money. You can bet whatever money you want. Boston, I went out at the same time. As some old dude who owned like a cookie store in Reading, Mass. I thought they were switched no. because I could have sworn the war hero was Boston. And then to make, to add the salt into the wound, they called you John Wolf and not Josh Wolf. That was what happened. The difference was on my way out to the mound in Boston, they got my name wrong. Super funny. And in Oakland. I'm sitting on the field like, oh God. Yeah. In Oakland, <laughs> they, at the, she was like, hey, hey, uh, by the way. There's another, I go, oh, but I, I had to throw out the first pitch with somebody in Boston, like side by side. Is there any way I can do it by myself? And she goes, oh, you're doing it by yourself. We're just having someone go out first. And then you're like the headliner. And I go, I okay. should have done it the other way around. So guys, they, the guy who I meet before, they're like, this is captain, whatever his name was. And they're like, you know, he, he's a veteran. He's back and we're going to have him come out. I said, okay. I said, great to meet you. And I go, how's your arm? And he was like, yeah, I haven't thrown in like 10 years. And I go, okay. He was also, what, and like so, 65 or No, old? dude. He was probably a little younger than me. I, maybe I'm getting my things mixed up. You're but mixing I, up Boston and Oakland. So we, on while they're introducing him, so he, you start from the third baseline and you walk all the way out, right? So like, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. And they start to list all of the th- like accolades dude, he saved more he, this one of his accolades was he'd saved more people from the field of battle than any other combat pilot ever and they and he saved his 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 men call him the you know whatever every like he saved more lives he's killed more people he's flown more planes he's the best veteran ever Please welcome Captain and whatever. And the place and 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 the buildup to the mound. You could hear the roar of uh-huh. 
Yeah. And he gets, and they ended it perfectly. And he takes off his hat at the mound and the place just fucking bah! Yeah. And then, dude, he threw a fucking dart. Oh my God. Yeah, he threw a dart. And he walked off the mound and I was looking at him like, did you just gaslight me, bro? Like, and he goes, eh, I still got a little something left in the, in the right arm. And then he was like, good luck out there. I'm sure they're going to, I'm sure they're going to love you. On my way, I, I'm at the third baseline, right? And as I put my foot up in the air over the third baseline, before my foot hits the ground, the announcer just goes, and now comedian Josh Wolf. And then, and as I walk to the mound, the boos got louder. Boo, boo. Because they didn't give me any accolade. It was just, and now comedian Josh Wolf. And then my foot hit the ground and it was a long walk out to the mound and I'm waving, they're booing. Get off the field. It was, by the way, I did throw a better pitch than that guy. You did throw a, you did throw a strike. That, yep. On that one, I was like, I better hit the that, fucking mid yeah, on this one. That's also the game I've come the closest to to catching a foul ball. Yes. Like, legitimately? Yes. A ball, I, I remember just, we, I had my back turned and we were all on the third base side. Yes. And I hear crack of the bat and I turn around and they're like, ball. And I look up and I see this ball and I'm like, I played outfield. Like, I, I played center field and pitcher. That's what it is. So I'm like, I didn't have a glove because like once you hit 16 years old and you're a dude, you can't bring a glove to a baseball game. Agreed. Anymore. If you are a grown man, grown man, who brings a glove to a game and or wears a jersey, I, I can... I will go Jersey before glove, but you can't be like a 45 year old dude who's bringing a glove to the game. No, 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 man. You're going to use your bare hands. You better bare hands like a grown man yeah, or you, you don't catch a ball. That's just how that works. Catch it with your beer. Some guys do that, but or no catch glove. it while holding a beer dude, or holding a baby. I love when they catch it when they're holding their baby. Have you seen that one where that dude went like he holding a baby and the beer kind of threw his baby in the air a little bit to give her some hang time? Let go of her, caught the ball, saved the beer, and then re-caught the baby? No, but I have seen people catch it in the beer. I don't think they do that on purpose, though. In the beer? I think it just happens by chance. Like, where they, they're, like, looking for it, and I think sometimes they just misjudge it, and it just... You think it just it. lands in the beer? Well, I think they're close enough in the vicinity to where it hits the beer, but I don't think someone's going up like this to catch it in huh. the beer cup. I'll have to do a little YouTube Google. Yeah, sure. Research. Uh, but so, and that ball is hit right in the air, and I'm tracking it, but I'm tracking it over my shoulder because I'm about to come down with it right here and it comes down, gets right to my hands. I miss it by six inches and the dude in the end seat, another grown man with a glove, yeah, has his glove under my hands and I miss it and he catches it and he was like, just missed it. And I was like, oh. you dick. Like, yeah, I was pretty mad at that. By the way, anyone who listens and brings their glove to the game was like, see, that's why you bring a glove to the game. No. I would rather miss the ball and have no glove than catch the ball with a glove. But It's just like, also, the grown men who bring, the, like, the, my favorite ones are the grown dudes who bring their softball gloves from their rec league that they play in every Sunday. Well, you're not to gonna the, bring your second baseman's glove from Little League. No, but I love how every old dude is like, it's not like a right, it's not. What other glove are they playing with? That's the only glove they got at their house. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying, though. It's the like the one that's this long. The one, the giant one. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're like, oh, I'm gonna try and give myself a better advantage. It's like, here's the thing: if you got a softball glove at home, you got kids who play baseball. Take one of your kids' gloves. Nah, you, you can't bring like a oiled up second baseman's glove. That's more embarrassing than the softball. I think they're both embarrassing. They are, but it's more embarrassing to be like, yeah, I play in adult league baseball and I brought my second baseman glove. I, I don't think so. I think playing in an adult, if you're like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I want to play in an adult baseball league in the next coming years. I'm I just, do not. Oh, that's because you can't run the bases and or throw a baseball. That's right. I can but still I can play softball. That still requires you to throw. Not and, if I play first base or second base. And run. Yeah, but I hit the ball so far, I'm not going to have to run very hard. Except when you swing and throw out your back. Well, then I just won't run. Remember that last time? I, I My only home run in my rec softball league, I swung and as I went to get out of the box, I strained my calf. I felt my calf go, and I went, oh. And I'm just like, dude, I can hit the fuck out of a softball. I still can't figure it out. I, I, it's such a bummer because I swing like I'm supposed to hit a baseball, like it's coming at me flat. But I, and because I, baseball, you were chose not to axe it, like hit it like an axe. But in softball, I kind of want to swing down at it. Have you, oh, you've seen me play some. I, I can, yeah, I watched you pull your hamstring in center field. For sure. Not my hamstring, but my quad. But for sure, my, whatever it was, my quad used to pop all the time. That's why, I, listen, I'm risk averse now. I think it's really funny that 
whenever I mention something, you try to say something about me being old or getting hurt. Like you think it's going to bother me. No, I don't think it's going to bother you. It's just what comes to mind. Like, oh, okay. The two every things that, time. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Because, because that's what I think about because it's just what we, you have to be careful of now in this day and age, because even when you were younger and in better shape, you, I mean, I will say you do hit the shit out of the ball and I, like, I, I'm, I'm going to give him his props and his credit here. This dude would hit the ball further than anybody in his softball leagues. He would hit it so far. And this man has wheels. I will, again, we'll give him that. You would be on the bench sitting after hitting a ball before the ball even reached the infield again. Sometimes. Sometimes. And I remember that. I do. But I also significantly remember you not being able to move in the outfield because yeah. you pulled a muscle. Yeah. I and, I, and I ran out on the field to check on you. And one of the people from the team told me to go back to the stance. I remember when we... so we Those had, are the only two softball memories I have for you. Is a bunch of us... This is so embarrassing. It's like when me and my buddy Ravi, we had never played pickleball What's before. his name? Ravi, R-A-V-I. Oh, that's not what I would have guessed. Um, he and I had never played pickleball before. And we... <laughs> we There were these two 80-year-old women who challenged us. And we were like, let's take it easy but let's play to kind of, you know, get our feet wet. Yo, they dusted us. They beat the shit out of you. They dusted us. There's so many rules to pickleball. It's not just that. They were just, you, there's not a lot of running involved. It's just kick, 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 and it's angle, and it's speed. It, they just dusted us. Yeah. It was so embarrassed to be arguing like, Ooh, you got Gladys. Or, you know what I mean? Like, keep yeah. an eye on Gladys. Gladys and, and Patricia oh were just God. dusting you. Um. Anyways, so it's like to, uh, uh, B, I just came back from Planet Hall about Planet Hall, Planet 13 uh -huh. here in Vegas. And Planet 13, for you guys that don't know, I think is the biggest dispensary in the world. Is and it? yep. Damn. And yo, dude, I, I went down there and I'm I'm gonna I don't want to mess up this dude's name. I spoke to Trey. Trey uh, uh hooked us up with some stuff. Uh I love RSO. Um Oil. Oil, uh, but also some flour. And then the people at Keefe were down there. And Keefe makes this root beer, dude, that is, like, legit. But here's the best news. Me, Keefe, and Planet 13, we're going to get together and do something. I might even start my own line of weed. Not line, but, like, strain. Strain. So, um, and I'm going to, I, I would love to name it. I think the, the lead, the, the, uh, lead front runner for names right now is, uh, be cool, man. And it'll be a nice, even indica kind of relax, sit on your couch and just be cool. Um, and then we're gonna, we're talking about revamping the high live down there. Oh, fuck yeah. And so we would do the high live live where you could come smoke weed with me and sit in the audience while we do the high live. If you guys never saw the high live, that was quite an adventure, man. I would get super high, take some mushrooms, invite a guest over to my house, turn on the camera, and we would just start talking. Yeah, so, and guess who had to clean all of it up because he was too high to clean it up? Yeah, I mean, not every time, just at the cursing house. Which, for me, was oh yeah every time. Um, And so... um. That's it. That's what's been going on with me, dude. But that's going to be a good time. Yo, I took some mushrooms and we were just in Hawaii. I took some mushrooms in Hawaii, guys. Shout out Hawaii and Oahu, by the way. Thank you for everybody who came out. We had a great time. For sure saw spirits in my room. Legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All night, tribal spirits, some angry telling us to get off the island. Some were like, please give back to the earth tomorrow. That I had like, Legit, give back to the earth tomorrow. Some were like mischievous, but all it was, there was some dark and it was um, crazy. I actually love that shit. But did you, did, but you said to me the next morning, you're never doing mushrooms in Hawaii again. No, there's just too many spirits, man. There's too many. It, it's the one thing I knew going over there because it's what you said is like, there have been so many battles on every single one of those islands. Like, you just never know where you're building on and what you're building on top of. Like, my buddy Ross, who grew up there, he was like, just, he was like, don't touch anything. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, don't, don't take any rocks, don't take any shells, don't, if you see something in a place, don't touch it. And he was like, because 
it, that 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 curse shit is real. If you take it back to the mainland, it will follow you, and it's just not it's not worth it. No, no, I, no and I've always been also like. Same with just like national parks and shit. You just like it's just stuff you don't take, you don't move. It's supposed to be there. You just leave it be and and you just not. Don't fuck with it. Yeah. Kind of shit. Well, it was a good time, man. And thank you all for coming out. Uh, we had a really good time with you guys. Yeah. But what do you want to talk about, dude? Well, I also want to say he did mushrooms and saw spirits in Hawaii, and I broke my pinky toe within 12 hours, which was <laughs> pretty ridiculous. Um I will say though, based on the the break, Hawaii, you guys you built some pretty strong walls. Um, cause I feel like I've hit my toe harder than that before on certain things. Yeah. How's it feeling right now? I feel fine. It's still a little swollen, but you know, discoloration and whatever's gone yeah. down. And, uh, the plane ride was a little rough because pressure wise. Yeah. And so like I could feel, I could feel my pinky toe, like, like getting bigger, like a balloon every time, like every couple hours when I like try to flex it and it would get harder and harder to like bend it. And then as soon as we landed, it just went, yeah, it just nice. like deflated. Um, so it's fine. It's good. You know, it just, uh. Also, like it made, it, I don't think it was like a full break. I think it was a fracture. But it would be still be a fracture. It's not like it was a fracture. It is a fracture. R right, yeah. right. I just, yeah, yeah. But like, because like when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, colors and bruising. Look, for a guy, look, if I know any injuries well, it's toe injuries. And I know that very well. And, and mom, yeah. mom and I talked about it today. For those of you who don't know, I almost lost three toes on my left foot when I was 18. Um, but just watching it throughout the day, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's broken. But then as the, the, the bruising went away so fast, so I was like, probably just a fracture, but that's beside the point. I'm rambling. Um, I do want to talk to you about something that happened in Hawaii that I didn't tell you about. Um, that I was, I was wondering, I was like, Iman was like, are you ever going to tell him? And I was like, I was like, well, while we're here, we'll keep it under wraps, but I think I'm just going to tell him on the podcast. Um, did you steal something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Trust me, I, that's not what I want to do. Um, so, you know, we rented a Jeep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used it to drive kind of all the way around the island and do our thing. And uh, the day that her and I went to the North Shore, uh, which was, we were staying on the South Shore on the opposite side of the island. We uh, drove over there and on our way back, uh, we were on the freeway. I, uh, I did not know that the speed limit everywhere in Hawaii on every freeway is 55 miles an hour. And um, I was driving a little bit. And we were having a good time. Music was on. And I see a bike cop about half a mile up from me. Bicycle? No, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, my least favorite kind of cop. And okay. just, I don't know. They seem a little to be a little more angry than the rest of them. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. And uh, I see him. And I see him gunning people. And so I see him. And I hit the brake a little bit. I don't remember how fast I was going. I definitely wasn't going like 90 or 100. Like, I was... Truthfully, I was going at what the speed of traffic was. Like I was with four other cars who were going the same speed as me. And I see him, and I hit the brakes a little bit. And as I get to about within a thousand feet of him, he's about to hop on his bike, and he looks again over his shoulder. And as I'm in the very far left lane, and I slow down, and I'm down to like 65 right now, and all of a sudden, wee-woo. You gonna pull over? Wee-woo. And I pull over, and he comes up to me, and he was like, he was like, how are you, sir? And I'm like, good, how are you, man? And he was like, good, I'm just going to cut to the chase. And he showed me his gun, the radar gun. Yeah. What's the speed limit there? 55. Okay. I was going 78 is what he gunned me at. Mm. I disagree. What's the, dis what's the part to disagree? I don't know. I just didn't think I was going 78. <laughs> <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. You were doing 78. I disagree. Dude, here's the thing also, though. <laughs> he must have gunned me from so when far. You were doing 78? From so far yeah. away, though. Like, he got me from, like, that a is a little sus. Yeah, like I like by the time I saw him, I hit the brakes. So he like he must have got me right when I saw him. Like he got me from a really can he I got me you, from he got me from at least a quarter mile away. I say sus, but I don't know how that shit works. I don't know how far away. I don't either. But also, how do you know you're not getting confused with the car that was right next to me going the same speed? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wasn't the only one going 78. We should get a radar, radar gun? gun and see how fast you can run. Oh, I bet you I can run at least 15 miles an hour. 15? Okay. On a treadmill to run a mile, I run nine miles an hour as like a running pace. And that's for like 10 minutes. So I think I could get up there. Anywho, he pulls me over. And he's like, so you're going 78 miles an hour? And I was like, I was like, damn, I'm, I was like, I'm not going to argue. I, I didn't think I was going that fast, but totally understand. He's like, license registration. And I was like, it's a rental car. He goes, glove compartment. They have all that shit there. And I was like, hey, 
Aye, aye. Gave him my ID. And uh, he was like, cool, I'll be right back. He went there. And Iman is filming now. And she goes, well, <laughs> we just got pulled over. And I How was like. didn't post it? Oh, I don't know. Just because, because I think she she was nervous about it. Yeah. And so, and I'm always nervous. Like, even in the passenger seat, she's like, I didn't do anything wrong. And I my heart's beating out of my chest. And I yeah. was like, honestly, this is the most calm. Because you know me, dude. I have legitimately a squeaky clean, only parking tickets, never been pulled yeah. over record. Yeah. I am, I have a squeaky clean record. And he comes over and I was like, damn, 23 over the speed limit. I was like, this is going to be a crazy fine. And your insurance is going to go. Because I'm going to get a point on my license. Yeah. However, he comes back and he goes, cool. He's like, so we're going 23 over the speed limit. He's like, this is what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you you're fine. And then I'm going to just educate you a little bit on how the laws in Hawaii work. I was like, cool. He goes, so your speed, your ticket for your fine for going 23 over the speed limit is $182. Well, and I was bad. like, that's pretty good. Yeah. Can I pay it to you right now? <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, that's a good start. And then he goes, and secondly, we don't have a mark or a point system in Hawaii. We don't do traffic school. We don't do any of that thing. You will not get a point on your license for this speeding ticket. All you do is pay the fine within 21 calendar days and you're good. And I was like, wait, for real? I was like, so this won't like go on a record or anything? He was like, no, sir. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, this is the best speeding ticket anyone could have ever gotten. However, he was like, I just want to now educate you. He was like, you were going 23 of the speed limit. If we catch you on a freeway at 81 miles an hour, which is 26 over the speed limit, I can fiz I can rightfully pull you out of the car and arrest you and take you to jail. And I, he was like, wow. so you were three miles an hour under that. I was like, cool. This keeps getting better, actually. I was like, everything you've said to me is, I'm winning yeah. here. He was like, and, or if you're any, any place else, if you're 30 over the speed limit, we can pull you out and arrest you. And I was like, cool. He goes, so just, you know, be safe. Um, and in his head, he was like, dumb white people. And I was like, yeah, my bad, man. Like, I, I really apologize. I'll be safe. Um, and um, I signed the ticket and he let me go. But I... Why wouldn't you tell him? Because I was three miles an hour away from getting arrested in Hawaii. Yeah, but that's like saying I was five feet away from having sex with Jennifer Lopez. I well, mean, I never was, but no, you know what but I mean? That, like, that also, one sounds way better than the other. But but my point is, like, you were, I guess, close to something bad happening, but nothing bad happened. Yeah, I know. I just, like, it was a vibe thing. Like, we were just having such a good time. It was, like, the only, other than me breaking my toe, it was the only bad thing to really happen on the trip. And so I was just like, well, I just don't even, also, I just didn't even want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. I was like, I'll just, I'll deal with it. Yeah. But so, at the end of the day, no point on the license, no crazy jump up on my insurance, a sub $200 fine. That's huge. Dude, 23 over the speed limit in LA is like $700 plus. So, have you already paid? No, not yet. Okay. I had 21 calendar days. I put it, I got some reminders. Don't you worry. Do so you have some reminders? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you worry. I am uh, not 21 biz days, 21 calendar days. 21 calendar days. So, Correct. what's the day you need to have it in by? Ow! And Fuck. I'm assuming that doesn't mean stamped. By that time. Oh, no, I can pay it online. Oh, perfect. I'm, I'm, I asked, trust me, I asked all my questions. He was like, there's an envelope here if you want to mail it in. And I was like, who the fuck? Why would I mail it yeah. overseas? That seems it's, stupid. It's not really overseas. It's over us -y. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is over us -y, So, I mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I believe I got it on the 19th. No. Maybe the 20th. Well, you better figure that shit out. I'll check the ticket. It's got the date on it. Yeah, why not just pay it like right now, you know? Because I have rent coming up. Mm -hmm. And money for me has been slow this month. Mm -hmm. So. June or July? June. Because there's just like a lot of, well, whatever. Anyway. Um, but so this is week one. Uh, so the, uh, the week after 4th of July is my due date. Which is perfect because I get paid the week. That's, That's right. right. That's I'm probably right. gonna pay it that weekend when we get paid. All right, and if you need to pay it at a time, we can figure it out. Yeah, but it's a sub two hundred dollar fine. I'm not tripping about it. I just he was like, if you want to appeal it and come back and face us in court, here's the address. And I was like, what if you had just been like, hey, Haktua? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? I know that that woman's father wants to jump out of a fucking window right now. Yeah. She, she got caught out in real life also like at the bar where she works and people are like specifically going to the bar. Of course. To try. Well, oh, guys are also supposed to be like, guys are like, oh, I'm trying to pick her up because 
If a girl publicly says "hak tua," Dude. spit on that thing. First of all, you op- you open the door to a lot of creeps. I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, "hak tua," spit on that thing. I- I'm not interested. I'm already uninterested. If you are spitting, this is where there's like a generational thing where spit and porn started to take form in real life. I don't want her to spit on my face or spit in my mouth. Nah, I don't need you spitting on me at all. Spitting? Nah, I don't find that sexy at all. I don't think you... I, dude, I, I think you get it, but I, I, I don't know. I guess not. I, I, you're, you're, you're acting like... Watch I, what you say. You're acting like <laughs> I didn't have a, like a sex life when I was a younger dude. Yeah, but sex life back then to sex life now, I feel like they're two different. No, I mean, like, I feel like... You I do? Feel, I feel like, generationally, sex life as a teenager were different. You think we were puritanical? Pure tentacle? We were pure testicles? <laughs> what did you say? You think we were all testicles? I don't even know what that means. Like, you were <laughs> fucking guys? What does that mean? Dude, puritanical means, like, we were puritanical, like we were puritans. Like we were, like we wore long chastity robes. belts type shit. Yeah, and we had no, sex I don't, sheets and shit. No, weird. No, you guys just, you guys just, uh, what is that called? Floating the things that the Mormons do. Uh, uh, were soaking. They're, were they soaking with yeah. their special underwear? And you have somebody jump on the bed. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That makes me laugh. No, 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 I don't think it was that. But I, I definitely feel like my generation is a little more wild. I think you think you are. No, I, 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 I think. Because there was, you know, people are spitting on dicks and everyone <laughs> and everyone eats asshole that you think that's crazy. No, I don't think I don't think everybody listen, dude. The fact that everybody likes to lick a butthole isn't like something I would hang my hat on. It's so funny to me. I remember when I talked to you about this for the first time. You were like, Yeah, everybody loves it. Everybody's doing it. And I was like, and you had the same attitude with me. And here's what I would tell Can you. Can we open everything? Dude, when you're licking butthole, it's not like my generation didn't lick butthole. The difference between my generation and your generation was if someone was going to get their butthole licked, they had to earn it. You guys were like, hey, thanks for the ride home. Let me lick your butthole. That's not true. You know what I mean? You guys will pay. Here's one thing I've never done. And I have a friend of mine who would do this. I'm not meeting somebody at the bar. He'll meet somebody at the bar and lick a butthole. And my deal is like. I won't. If you've been out at the bar for an hour, I don't care who you are. You need to wash that ass. A hundred percent. There's no one night stand where you're licking buttholes. No, 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 no. I, I I would agree with that. I think some people definitely do that, but I feel like if it was to come down to me, that's not like a first date thing. It's like a, it's like a fifth date no, thing. No, dude. I got to know your family before I lick your butthole. Do you know? Like, I, I got to know where you come from good stock. I got to see what your diet's like. I got to, I'm this is, no, I, you just got to make sure you shower before. A hundred percent. It's just like, if that's going to be the, if that's the deal for the night, you better hop in that shower and specifically only clean your asshole. This for 40 is why minutes. I'm saying that I don't understand. Like if you're picking somebody up in Florida where it's damp all the time, shower. I don't care who you are. If you've been out of the house for more than five minutes in Florida, you need to wash up. Cold, and, and it shouldn't be a hot shower because when you get out of the shower, you're going to be sweating again. It should be a cold shower. I'm okay either one. Uh, anyways, but no, yeah, I, yeah. I, like I don't think your generation's more wild. I think the porn's more wild. You guys didn't have porn. What do you mean we didn't have porn? I mean, you probably did, but like like actual videos of porn? Yeah, dude. Of course. A, a VHS? But here's the difference is that, and I will say I do like this more now. Before, you had to fast forward through movies. And you were like, where's the scene? But now, you know, sometimes there's no... People aren't really... You didn't answer movies. my question. What's VHS? That? Like, how did you watch them? Um, at the porn theater, there was porn theaters. Yep, VHS for sure. Um, I grew up when there was, you know, you could get like a fuzzy half a tit on a on a like a TV, like you you know when you change the channel like this, you don't know what I'm talking about. No, the little flick flick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was like sometimes there was like a like a porn channel where like it was fuzzy, but you'd like see a nipple every now and then. No, that sounds crazy. So you didn't really have porn. Yeah, dude. We had porn. We just didn't have it in our pocket all the time. We had to work for it. Yeah. It was special. It's a bummer. Porn was special because you never got to see it. It's not like I could go out to my car right now and look at porn. That's it's not as special. But magazines were more your your generation's for sure. Right? Thing. For sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. 
I remember those, the magazines were always funny to me because like, I always, this is where I was. This is where my mind's always been. I always, you know, the pictures, because they were there was Playboy, you know, which was just like pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pose. There was Hustler, which was a little nastier. Yeah. But then there were mags that were just like hardcore porn. So it was just pictures of scenes? Yes, but I always picture because if you're taking this is on film. This wasn't vid- digital. Right. So like I'm sure they had to freeze, like where she would be like, all right, and, and he'd be like, all right, you know. I just always pictured, it made me laugh. The yeah. hardcore pictures made me laugh because I pictured the setup like, okay, now freeze. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of funny. That <laughs> made, me, made me laugh at those hardcore pictures. But, but um, we had porn, dude. I will say, look, I'm glad it's, I didn't have it when it was so accessible. I don't know how you guys did high school with porn in your pocket all the time. Can I intervene real quick, by yeah. the way? You know how I have kind of something like that in one of my bits? Yeah. I thought of something funny. Because, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I, I want to tell you after, but okay. like, I thought of something funny that comes after. Dude, it's a gr- it's a very rich joke area. It's just, I just have like one, like just kind of like a tag after it. I don't have like, like a story behind it. I just have like a, like a one. I like, I thought of something with that comic Mike Robertson. Yeah. And so I, I, I think it's funny, but I have to hear it out loud. And see how it does. Um, and just see how it does. But I think it's funny. But also at the same time, I thought a couple other jokes were funny. And yeah, that, I love wah, wah. when that happens. Yeah, that happens a lot, dude. Yeah. Especially when you start, why it happens a lot is because you don't know what you say funny yet. Yeah. And so sometimes you, I've written jokes where I'm like, that's not going to work for me, but I'll give it to somebody else. Right. You know? Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it's funny that you say we don't have porn. We had, I, uh, we had like a legit you had porn, porn bush. Like it was like a, it was a bushy situation. You're talking about like a bush in the forest where you had porn magazines under? No. Or are you talking about like the ladies in the Playboy? Yeah. That we talked about where it's more bush than woman. It's not more bush than woman, but it's, it's equal parts. Equal bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To woman. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I it's so funny how things, yeah, anyways. You, want, you don't want to keep talking about porn? Nah. <laughs> not really. I, I, I do want to talk about the Hawk Tua girl. What about her? I feel so bad for her dad. Why? Because he's going to hear about it for the rest of his fucking life. Are you kidding? You think she's getting it, dude? That guy's friends. Oh, she's getting it, but she's you, getting it. Yo, dude. That guy's friends are merciless to him right now. Oh, yeah. They gave him one day of mourning and then, oh, boy, I, it's the only, I wish I knew him just because of the jokes that have been coming in my head. Dude, Huck, if he golfs, it's going to, the golf course is going to be the worst place in the world for him. Yeah, every time on his backswing, Huck Tua. The Huck Tua is like, spit on that thing. Oh, my it's the God. The funniest thing. The I love whole it. interview, all I kept thinking when I was watching is, this woman's father, not a mom. It different. The mom too, but the dad, knowing that his daughter spits on dicks, and he could have known that he just didn't need to hear her say. Yeah, I get that. No, dude, you don't get it. I'm telling you right now, it is like uh, it's the fucking worst to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, for her, whatever, I feel bad for her because she was drunk and she doesn't understand. There's no way for you to understand the weight of what's about to fall on. She didn't get a lot of tips at the bar she works out, though. This dude was just an innocent bystander. He's, he's collateral damage, man. He caught some shrapnel off a grenade that bounced off a pole and went the opposite direction and hit him right in the fucking ass. And he was like, what did I do? You know what you did? You didn't you raise pull, your daughter. Right. You didn't pull out. That's what you, happened. Yeah, do you hock to it in the wrong person? No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, I shouldn't say that. I did, but I shouldn't. But uh, you did. I did, but I didn't mean that. I was trying to think of something funny, and it came out not funny. But you said it. I know I fucking <laughs> said it, dude. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> I like your shoes, by the way. Thanks, dude. I like them, too. Um, I had the... Uh, the by the way, can I tell you for real? 
an ice cold best day brew on these 108 day are outside. Amazing. You're still going outside. I, I go outside with Indiana during the like that. That's at like five in the morning though. Yeah, no, we sit out back so he can in the backyard so he can just pee and poop, and mm. I'll sit outside and crack a best I, day. We don't let Milo outside during the day. I let him outside for about three minutes. If he has to pee, I let him out. But Milo in the morning, he gets up and he's like, oh, it was cold inside. I got to go pee. And then he doesn't go pee. He just goes and lays in the sun. And I'm like, dude, your small little body is going to burn up on the ground. You need to come inside. It's crazy how quickly they overheat. I try to pick him up when he's like laying down and he just bites me. And I'm like, okay, well, you're being a dick. So it's <laughs> it's time to go inside. It's his gotcha day today. It is? Three years we adopted Milo. Let's go. Shout out Milo. Are you excited for the fireworks? Yeah. Absolutely. Are you? Yeah. I like fireworks. You also like, but you know what I used to do at the 4th of July in LA? You know what I used to do, right? No. So we would always go to my boy Jake's house, right? And we'd all chill there and we'd all like drink or, and you know, and, and party and whatever. And then we'd chill out for a couple hours and then I have, sorry, I'm just choked in my own spit. Um, I have a spot in the Hollywood Hills that has a great overview of Hollywood, Century City, way ho like that whole side of the hill downtown and it's high up so you can see the fireworks go off everywhere through downtown LA and so we used to do that I've been doing that since I was 18 there's a, it's like that was the spot because I found that spot because Waze used to take me through there to cut through oh no shit the hills and so it would put me down you know Mount Olympus yeah it's Mount Olympus Oh, yeah, so, going up around there. Yeah. So it would take me canyon. it would take me down the back way and I would come out at that Mount Olympus exit, Mount yeah. Olympus Street at the bottom of Laurel. And so I knew it back and forth. So I could do it from the top of Mulholland and Laurel and down at the bottom of Laurel, where it turned into um whatever it was. So we always used to go sit up at the highest point we could and just like open the car doors, open the trunks, and just everybody would sit on top of our cars and just sit and watch fireworks. It was fucking awesome. I so, think damn it, sorry. I think from where our house is, we're going to see the whole valley. That's what I'm excited for. It's going to have that same kind of like vibe to it. It's also something me and Jack used to do. Like Jack was always there for those fourths. So it's something that we would always do. So I'm excited to do it again. That's awesome, man. I, I have to tell you, for me, fireworks are, it's so meh. Because we have, technology has Gone places, yo. They could fire a missile from across the world that would oh, knock on the door and crawl into your asshole. But fireworks are the same. Yeah. How is that? Now I don't know anything about technology, and I don't know anything about fireworks. But I'm still gonna speak passionately about it because step up your game, firework people. I, I know people are like they do them on drones now. That's the drone technology, not the firework technology. Haven't you seen Harry Potter? Haven't you seen what those fireworks do? Figure it the fuck out. Why is it still so boring? The same pa pa pa, and at the end pa 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 pa. That's it. You can't get one that looks like Mike Tyson in boxes or some shit. Can you said the ones in Harry Potter? You know that's not real, right? Yeah, but you know you but 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 they do them in Harry Potter. So why can't they do technology like that? They're not real fireworks I in Harry know Potter. No, Harry Potter's not real. That's dude. what I, that, I didn't, that reference didn't make that didn't make any sense though. I, you you couldn't take some inspiration from Harry Potter is what I'm sure, saying. Sure, but one is CGI and one is real life. Oh, <laughs> I know that. So I don't. I, but my saying is like, how do you take inspiration from that? It's, because it's not like you can make a mechanical firework. Why not? How do you know? What do you I mean? feel like blowing up metal in the sky is not a good idea. But what if it wasn't in the sky and it wouldn't be blowing it up? You're blowing things up that are on the metal. Fireworks don't blow up metal. It's because they're saying, not made of metal. I'm just... Because then everything can combust and dissolve and not kill someone. But if you blow up... A, like I'm trying to help you out because I'm thinking... Here's what you could do. Oh, How wait. about this? How about this? Go ahead. Go ahead. Because I'm thinking like timer wise, like yeah. you could set up timers, or smaller fireworks, like create like an image in the sky. Like I hear what you're saying, but I don't know if you can put like that kind of technology onto a piece of cardboard that is a firework. How You would have to, I think, how come you couldn't do this? And maybe they have, it seems like now that I'm saying this, they probably have. But how come you couldn't get two planes 
right? With lights on the, not real planes, but planes, right? Okay. And you have like a battle where they shoot fireworks, fireworks at each other. And fireworks explode to make it seem like part of the plane got hit. Or two ships or some shit that's different. Do you know what I mean? Something that's not just bop. Ba, ba. Oh, ba, ba, ba. Oh. To, to, okay, can I ba, 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 can I ask oh, you? Go home. That's it. Can I ask you a question? What do you mean by planes? Like two legitimate people no. flying the plane? No, dude. I don't know how planes work, but I think you would just have. And I again, I don't know technology, but e planes. E even if you had uh, 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 metal planes, right? And they were they brought up on a lift or something. Whatever. I don't know. And, oh, so not actually have them flying in the air. No, but you can move them on the lift so it looks like they're flying around. Okay. And they shoot fireworks at each other. It's something. You know what I mean? Maybe one Biden and one Trump and they shoot fireworks at each other. And they and but they're both so old and senile, they just start shooting it at each other and like or turn I, it back on themselves. Yeah, like but something Something different than just ba 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 oh ba 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 oh ba 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 oh go home. That's my impersonation of everybody's. I fireworks. can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say though, everybody, and I'm as a as a your your buddy Josh is gonna give you. This is like gold, Jerry. Okay, on July fifth, wake up. Whatever time you like to wake up. Grab a cup of coffee. Now, I'm going to grab a joint. But you don't have to. Grab a cup of coffee. Go to the Google. Go to the YouTube. Guys, July 5th, July 6th, the best days to be on the internet. Yep. Because all it is is videos of young dudes holding fireworks for too long. <laughs> or putting them, or firing them out of their butt. Yo, oh, or sticking them in their butthole. That's my favorite one. It is, yo, it's a rabbit hole you will never get out of. And I, here's the thing. I make sure I don't look except for those two days. So there will be yeah. some videos from last year that I missed. Yeah. But the ones with the bottle rockets in the butthole where they shoot them at each other yeah. out of the butthole, yeah. get out of here. Yeah. The Roman candle wars are also pretty funny because someone always gets hit in the face. Amazing. And crazy burn. Yeah. Yeah. I like- uh, Or somebody who is drunk and lights a firecracker and forgets they have it in their hand yeah. or waits too long and it blows up. And have you, I showed you that video of that dude eating a firecracker, right? And yeah. having it blow up in his mouth. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it just, it's the audio. Yeah, no, no, 100%. I, yeah. I heard it when I did it, my bad. Yeah. Um, it's just a comfortable spot for me to rest my arm. Yeah. So I totally get it, my fault. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that that video. You also keep hitting the top of my. Oh, yeah, I felt it that time. Shoot. I'm sorry, man. I got long legs. I can't keep them bent for so long. Yeah, yeah. I, you're just scuffing my J's. You're, you're scuffing your, they're not J's, they're dunks. So relax. Oh, just put it up on the table so you're comfortable. It actually might look better under the table. See that black mark that you did? Look at that. Look at that. I get love these. Get out of here. That's you not me. You, that. you bought them like that. They were beat when you bought them. They weren't. Why are you, why are you popping the mic? Mm -hmm. Dude, you know what we're going to do? You and I, we're going to do a rap battle. Why? I think my flow is probably better than yours. I would agree. Really? I'm not a good writer. No, 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 no. It, yeah. Well, what? We can have other people write it. Just the performance. I don't know. I, I, here's the thing. I still listen to rap. So like, I have like, I can, I understand the different cadences of different rappers. And like, you also know me though. Like, you know me, I can memorize so many different I would go things. old school. Yeah, I, I would go, you would go boom bap and I would go drums. I don't know what boom bap is. Remember I told you it's like the, the anything with the beat. Like if I played a biggie beat right now, it'd be like boom, boom. Like it would come in oh, with like the Hanson. Boom bop, hit the top, boom, boom bop, a doop a dop. No. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like it's boom bap. It's the type of beat, but now a lot of uh, rap today is just all drums. It's like drums and 808s and shit like that. 808s? Yeah. 808s, a type of snare or type of beat, type of drum on uh, what's it called? Whatever they make beats on. I can't remember what it's called. The beat pad? No, not the, not the, not the sound, not the sound pad. It's literally, it's a beat making like software. It's called 808s. 808s are the type of like snares and, and drums and um, there's like kick drums, kick snares still on like stuff are, like that. Are, are, you're coming over on 4th of July? Yeah. Do, do you want me to make some ribs? Sure. Do you want me to bring some pork belly over from Costco? Can I tell you that your mom, I, I cooked a pork butt the other night 
And I, it, it, TMI, everybody. I, it was. It's going to be TMI for me too? It, nah, because I don't care. But it was like a charcuterie board came out of my asshole. Oof. It was a little bit of everything, dude. Yeah. Rough. Yeah, it was rough sauce. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. No. But I, I uh, yeah, I hate when you poop and you're like, I don't remember eating that. Yeah. You're like, well, how long has that been? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's been in my GI tract for a cool minute. I wonder what lodged that out. A carrot? Oh, a whole one? A whole unchewed <laughs> carrot? Yeah. Dude, there's this cleanse going around TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like oil cleanse type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so almost, I have almost fallen for it. Me too. Because they talk about what comes out. I'm less concerned and more curious. Yeah. I want to know, like, if is it dropping things from the 80s? Yeah, yeah. But I also like, am I going to find that Quaalude that I lost? People, like, a lot of people are also doing it, like, because they're like, it's helping me lose, like, clean out my gut, but also drop weight. I don't need to do that. No. You know what I'm I could, I'll do a gut cleanse, but I don't need to be skinnier than I am now. I don't need to lose any weight. Although, can I just tell you today, dude, today's workout, Delphine, guys, I, I have this tra a, trainer psycho. who's an ex Cirque performer and who laughs when I make noises when I work out, who says, stop talking. You're wasting time. Stop talking. But she... You love that type of shit, though. I, dude. You know I love it. I'm a you're you're a fleet psycho. You're both you're a psycho who has a psycho for a trainer. It's perfect. I am a, in the gym. I am a complete angry psycho. But I, I told it, somebody that it last night. Feels so good to get it all out. I want to tell you something else. This is for real. The therapy that I've been doing, the hypno. It, yeah, but we haven't done any hypno really. We've just been doing therapy. Has already started to change the human that I am. <clears throat> For the better, I hope. Uh, and exponentially better. Can I tell you something that happened today? So your mom and I were at the gym. And I had a noon meeting. And the, she had the car keys. Hmm. And uh, the, the Wi-Fi and the cellular at the gym is terrible. And so I walk outside. I text her. Nothing. I call her, nothing. I text her, nothing. And I'm like, all right, I just got to get an Uber back to the house because I need to be at this meeting by noon. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in the past, it would have been something that started because I had told her I need to be noon. I need to meet me out front because she finishes before I had to and meet me out front and all this stuff. Right? right. In the past, it's something that would have started an argument. And I got in the Uber and got home and do you know, all I kept thinking about was, yeah, it's not like she's, this was a malicious. People doing it on purpose. Nobody's, you know, I was a dude who thought that when any something didn't go the way I wanted it to, it was that somebody was doing something to me. Interesting. That it was, I took it. It felt like a personal attack. Yeah. That it was, oh yeah, that's on purpose. Not like a stranger, but anybody I know if something that I, and I, if you had asked me, did they do it on purpose? I'd have been like, no, but that's how I took it every right. time. Right. And to have this happen today, and, 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 and it, in the past with two of my triggers, I don't like being late like that either. No, you do not. And so it was like, uh, I, I when I got home, I was like, this therapy shit is working. Mm. I'm, I'm doing, I'm having conversations with, my younger inner person and um it's fucking i i wish i had taken the time to treat my brain in the same way that i treat my body hmm. before now but i'll I, I don't think i could ever go back to who i was knowing that this is just the beginning did you just double flex your pecs yeah did you see that yeah, that's why I pointed it out because you did it while you were talking, which I thought was weird. Yeah, I because I, I looked up real quick and I saw myself and I'm like, I wonder if I could see myself if I pounce my pecs, which I can. Does that bother you when I do that? No, I'm just waiting for you to get over yourself. Damn it. I, I, I'm not. I'm actually now just doing it because I think it bothers you. No, I'm just waiting for you to get back to the conversation. I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm too wrapped up in my pecs. All right. <laughs> 
Um, I love the new artwork. I do as well. I I um I will say I wish I would have shaved for that photo. It looks like I got a whole bunch of pubes just on my face. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and for me, look, dude, that that facial hair looks bananas, but that's what it always looks like. Yep. And I I I had somebody chime in and go, "You look it's like a caricature." I'm like, "That's what I look like." But holy shit, you know what I just noticed? I have some things I have some things can we, I noticed as can well. Can we talk in the mic? How do we do that? Is it if I go over here, Matt, are we good? Yeah, I got oh I can pull. Okay, can I go first? Yeah, you go first. What the fuck is that? Is that a dick on my neck? That's your vein, dog. No way! Somebody's vein is that thick. It's right here too. Yeah, but that is not that. That looks like well, a that's, fucking... it, it's because it's the shadow. So there's no shadow on this side, there's shadow on this side. So it, yeah, it looks pretty good. Why does it have a legit mushroom head? Like that looks like a like a legit tiny penis. Yeah. Can I just, I want to point out. I you just I've, stepped on my foot again. Well, you're too close. I have very inconsistent facial hair, as you guys can probably tell. I hate, like, look at this. Like, I can just see it's like creeping up on this side. I got nothing on this side. And then you can just see two big patches of my mustache. Yeah. It's what's like, that? Is that a shadow? I, you no, know, it's my mustache. I just, it looks like. It, That's not your mustache. It's just, dude, look at the, like, it's just a morphed graphic. It's like, it's like trippy. Oh, yeah, dude, that is interesting because you can see the gap here and yeah, here. Yeah, it's like I tried to go Hitler mustache and then and then gave up halfway through. This is funny. I, I never noticed that giant gap in the middle. Do I have that? No. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I parted my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you just had Moses go. I went whoop. center part on my yeah. mustache. You went, you went blank Hitler mustache, which is weird. What is the real problem? Is the dick on the neck though? I'm having a hard time figuring out how that. If you got a dick on your neck, your Woo tongue looks like a brain. Also, my tongue looks like a brain. Yeah, doesn't it kind of? It, I it does look like I also get Botox right there, which I don't. I don't. I don't. Who, what camera am I looking at? Straight. That camera. I don't. I don't. I don't get Botox. I don't have a dick on my neck. I do have a lot of gray hair. I don't part my mustache in the middle like it's David Cassidy's hair. There's a reference for four people. I'm I'm not, <laughs> You're Matt, not one of Matt's them. one of them. You're not I'm not one of them. <laughs> You're not I one. will say though, mine's pretty accurate. That's exactly how my facial hair looks. I do have weird patches in my mustache. I wonder why some of my eyebrows went AWOL though. That's really interesting. Yo, that is one crazy. Yeah. Why did it go AWOL? Matt, why did you fuck me up with this? <laughs> this 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 eyebrow looks like one of grandpa's. Oh, bro! But you know yeah, how his eyebrows are like. Yeah, yeah, like, that eyebrow is like. Fuck it, we're getting out of here. Like, he, they're just, they just want to leave. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Well, dude, I, I, this was a fun little. This is an issue for me. I, it's on both sides, so I nah, mean, but that looks like a vein that looks further back. Well, and I, fit. I will say, you know what that matches it. Like, if you're saying dick on your neck, it matches because you like to do the the two handed, you know, thing on most of the podcast anyway. So it makes sense. One two handed thing. You know, that thing you always do that I always catch you out doing? No, show me. No, I'm not doing it because I'm not falling for it because you're the one who always does it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Come on. Does I'm not what? falling for that. That's what? All right. Well, yeah. All right. Well, that was that was a good time. Yeah, I really, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm really hyper-focused on your tongue. That sounded weird. Um, Why? <laughs> I don't know. It looks it, it looks weird to me. It looks like a brain. It looks like... But there's no ridges on it. Ruffles. You obviously aren't, can't see from this close. I mean, it, it, brain has like a deep ridge. That doesn't have a deep There's ridge. There's something that we like to call a smooth brain. Yeah, but those... No ridges or lumps or, or, or bridges or bumps. Yeah, but those don't really exist. No, it... Uh, You're talking about that little ridge there? Well, there's a couple, like, because I can also see, like, the... Those like are you know, dots. That is not a dot. That is a straight-up line and groove in your tongue. Are you mad? You need your glasses. I'm wearing glasses. You're reading glasses, oh, okay. old man. Hold on, hold on. Those are not your reading glasses. They aren't? No, because I think actually with darker lens, you're seeing even worse. I, listen, you tell me I can't, these aren't reading glasses? I wish these were reading glasses. I bet you you could find someone to put prescription in those. I definitely, these are my favorite. I, I'm going to switch. I'm going to, if it wasn't, honestly, because I don't like watching interviews with people wearing their sunglasses. I like seeing people's eyes. Yeah. But I, I on the podcast where I sing the whole podcast. Oh, are we doing that? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you do it, I want to join. I want to do it with yeah, you. Yeah, you're here with me. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I mean, like, I want to do the singing part with you, also. Uh, oh, by the way, can I say, guys, 
Um, the clip from a couple weeks ago, the gay and gay. Can I tell you, your comments under the video were so fuck my two. These are my two favorite ones. My 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 favorite was gay never meant gay, and anyone who doesn't understand that is gay. <laughs> that. <laughs> And the other one, my buddy Shane McNally left was, um, yeah, gay doesn't mean gay, but if you butt dial somebody, it's pretty gay. Yeah, that one makes me laugh. Yo, dude. I like that one. What I love is that the majority of people, the overwhelming majority, by the way, took it in the manner in which- You meant it. I meant it. And I will say this. If it offends you, I don't have a problem with that. I am, I am totally okay with you. This is the problem that I had. Like the people are like fucking snowflakes. Okay. But they're a lot, just like you're allowed to think that it just doesn't mean you're insulting somebody. Mm. They're also allowed to think that you are. This is the problem. Yeah. Right. We're not, we're not allowing people to have their opinion. Yeah. And then that turns into, if you don't agree with me, you hate gay people. And I'm like, this is where you're losing me. It's an, it's the extremist. Yeah. It's the extremist. It's, it's why like, yeah, I won't get into it. I won't get into it. It's extreme. I, but, but, but wait till we start talking about the word retarded, everybody, then some heads are going to explode. Did we do it already? Yeah. In the same episode. Oh, maybe we should clip that one. <laughs> We, we did. did. Oh, we yeah. did. How did people get mad at that one too? Yeah, I'll have to go check. Maybe uh, since you hadn't seen a resounding amount of comments for it, probably. It, 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 yeah, but I probably didn't. Obviously, I didn't even know it was out there. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody, listen. Um, first of all, another huge shout out to Trey down at Planet Thirteen uh, for holding it down and uh, setting us up with a cool bag, and we can't wait to get rolling on the high live down there. Um, and the, my friends at Keith Casey over there who you talked to shit faced for two hours at the bar In an hour. I talked her ear off. Hey yeah. man, the Celtics with, got with, to- with the amount that you talked, it felt like, cause she didn't do a lot of talking. Yeah. So it's like two hours. Yeah. Celtics, the Celtics won banner 18, man. I took too many tequila shots. I had to, I had to chill at, at Kimmel's for an hour before I got back in the whip. And shout out to my buddy Sully, who works over at the Celtics and always sets us up with tickets. Go C's, baby. And is a, such a good dude. Super happy for you and everybody hey, over there. One more thing. Uh, you know what, you know what my cheers was every time we took shots? Huh. It was cheers to Banner 18 and the Lakers sucking dick. That was, that, was that. that was my cheers. And also, like, yeah, I, I, I uh, it's, we have our rightful spot back on the top of most championships in the NBA because the Lakers shouldn't even been there in the first place because, oh, I'm sorry, you won a bubble championship and then an in-season tournament? The fuck out of here. Here's what I would say. I think the Lakers should have less championships than they have because Minneapolis, they count those, right? However, if you're asking me what the most successful or influential or dominant franchise, it's the Lakers. Because... 15 of those championships for the Celtics happened when black people couldn't drink out of water fountains. Do you know what I'm saying? But also Bill Russell won eight in a row. For sure. But if you look at recent history and the amount of times the Lakers have been to the finals, it dwarfs the Celtics. Now, yeah, you know I'm cool. a Celtics fan. That's, that's fine. Yeah, sure. But, you know, if you, went, if you went all-time Lakers starting five versus all-time Celtics starting five. Celtics are getting fucked. I think they're getting worked. I'm going to tell you who my starting five for the Lakers would be. Okay. It would be and no, it would be Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Kareem. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal. Nah, I, I hate to come off the bench. He doesn't play the four. Zero chance. No, I'm... Can I be honest with you? Kareem, don't push Shaq above Kareem, dude. It's not... No, no, I, I'm putting... If that's the case, I'm putting Kareem at four and Shaq at five. Nah. There, oh, well, then if I had to pick one, I'm taking Shaq. Nah. And then, well, no, I, I would just, here's the thing, just to have that sub, type of dominance down low, Shaq could still play the four, but him and Kareem has a little, you know, has the sky hook. Shaq is just post paint. You're like, going Magic Kobe as your one and two. Actually, you know what? You're I'm, going, I'm, I'm changing LeBron at four. Oh, I wasn't even going to put LeBron in there. What? Why not? I was putting Jerry West in there. 
Because LeBron is a Laker, but I don't see him as like an all-time Laker. I mean, he plays. Do, he's going you know to end up playing there for. It's got to be. He's going to end up playing there for a decade, right? He's going to sign a three-year deal to, to play with Bronny. Bronny's in the draft. The draft is tonight. I know, dude. He's so, gonna, so he has to sign a deal starting like soon. He should sign a one-year max vet deal. What else would he do? Yeah, because he could sign three. But for what? Like to just like for what? Because also here's the thing. I've seen a lot of comments online. We'll get to this and then close it out. But like I've seen a lot of comments online. One, what is Bronny going to call his dad on the court? Hey, clear out, dad. Hey, pick left, dad. I think that's, I don't, I don't know if I'm, you know what I'm what saying? What number is he wearing? Is he wearing 23 or six? LeBron or Bronny? Six. Uh, LeBron. LeBron's wearing six right now. So he'd probably say, hey, six. Honestly, I would just call him Bron. <sighs> I'd have to go with six. I couldn't have you call me Josh. I'd call you Pops. All right. I think that Pops is, is all right. Yeah, but you're going to get worked on the court if you call. A hundred percent. But secondly. In the inevitability that Bronny does something wrong, is LeBron still going to give him that negative body language that he gives to every other player? Oh, he's going to get in that ass. I just, that's Paul. But you're also assuming that Bronny's going to make the roster. That, I, that's the whole reason people would draft him, though. Yeah. If he's not going to make the roster, Bron leaves the team. He, 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 he can't leave the team if he signs a deal. That's why he has to wait to see where his his where he gets drafted. He's going to get drafted by the Lakers, hundred percent, number fifty five, which 50, I feel like still is too far up for him. Fifty five in the draft, number one in your heart. Uh, yeah, we used to do that. That's how they. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, but yeah, and then I think that that was my Lakers top five. I'm just keeping LeBron out of it because I don't see like I see Le, I, I, LeBron is a Laker, but I just don't like when I think of LeBron, I think of either the Heat or the Cavs. I yeah, just I'm don't. with you. So my, I think my five, honestly, actually, I think I'm going, it's, it's a bummer are, though. Are you, are you, I mean, are you going to leave Wilt off the, <sighs> you going to leave Wilt off the roster? I guess I'm going, I guess I'm going Magic, Kobe. Oh, it's so I, I, here's the thing for me personally, I need Shaq in there. Okay. I just, oh, God, I just do. I just, I need Shaq in there. I just yeah. do. Wilt has to be in there. Kobe, Magic, LeBron, James Worthy, Kareem. And then on the bench, Shaq, Wilt, Jerry West. Jerry West. Uh, I mean, that it's ridiculous. Yeah, the Celtics starting five that I got is Pistol Pete. I don't think he was a Celtic. Was he? Mm. No, he was a wait. Who Pete Pete Maravich? Is not Pistol Pete. Yeah, he is Pistol Pete, but I don't think he was a Celtic. Maybe he was. I'm going Bill Russell. Yeah, Lerber. Yeah, the Birdman has to be there. Uh, probably Garnett. Definitely Garnett. And I got to be so honest with you, Pierce does not make my list. Kevin McHale. Ooh. McHale, Bird, Garnett as your starting lineup, starting Can I tell you? Court the, against. I don't mind that. Is that that's your that's 4 out of 5 and can I be honest, you need somebody who's lights out. I'm taking Ray. Uh, Taking Ray Ray because dude Ray Ray Celtic Ray Allen dude didn't miss what I said I said Bird Garnett McHale right I'm not doing Bob Cousy or anything like that oh and Russell Bill Russell oh Bill Russell I'm taking I'm taking Ray Ray uh, you need someone who's lights out I'm talking we're talking Celtics Ray Allen you need someone who's lights out off a pick and roll who can shoot a ball. From anywhere, you know, it's, it's 2008 right It's now. either Paul Pierce or Dennis Johnson. Zero chance Paul Pierce makes my list. Paul Pierce is a legit first ballot dude. Yeah, I just think he, can I be honest? I think he gives himself too much credit for the career that he had. Why are you air quoting his career? Because he likes to come out and say that he had a better career than Dwayne Wade. I don't think he said he had a better career. But yes, I he think did. he said he was better than Dwayne. And I call cap. Yeah. He said he had a better... I, Dude, do you remember that clip where Jalen Rose roasts him I, on national TV I'm with not, Michelle Beadle? I'm not saying he is better, and I'm not saying he had a better career, but Paul Pierce is a legit bucket. Sure, yeah. I'm still taking D-Wade over him. I'm still taking Ray Allen over him. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, on, I'm telling you right now, on that Celtics team, out of that four, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, Rajon Rondo, I'm taking everybody except Paul Pierce. I'd rather have Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, and Rondo. 
you and I'm going to I'm a Celtics fan, y'all. I'm gonna, I am. I'm going to try to say this as calmly as I can, but you could not be more wrong about Paul Pierce. I'm I'm not saying he's not the truth. Sure, absolutely. Part of that 2018. But without Garnett, we don't win that championship. Okay. With, without dude, the only reason Ray Allen gets those open shots is cuz of dudes like Paul Pierce. Ray Allen's not he's not getting himself open in the corner. He's left open in the corner. 100%. Okay. But, and by the way, uh, dude, I'm not that Ray's listening, but Ray's a buddy of mine, dude. We've met him. Super yeah. nice dude. Uh, okay. Taking Ray Ray. Okay. And taking Rondo. I love it. Celtics Rondo, different. Dude, Celtics Rondo. Celtics Rondo, different. And, and, K- and KG. You- I don't pick him over Dennis Johnson. Oh, Ray Ray? Or Rondo? Ray Ray or Rondo. Dennis yeah. Johnson w- w- may be the most underrated basketball player of all time. Yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah, I think the Celtics are getting demolished in the best of all time. Hit everybody with our gigs. Unless you need to do anything because there's anything you'd like to say before I get into it. I just want to say my arms look great today, guys. So if you're not watching. All right. Sure. Anyways, <laughs> comedianjoshua.com for tour dates and tickets. Uh, we are off. When you, well, by the time you hear this, we are performing the 5th and the 6th of July at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club uh, at the Link Promenade here in Las Vegas. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates all around the country. That's, I already said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, again, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets for anywhere that we're going to be. Uh, the 4th of July weekend, we will be uh, at Kimmel's Comedy Club. And then the week after that, we have another break. And then other than that, honestly, for me, I have no idea where we're going to be. So go on, I have to go on the website to see what we're doing as well. So come see us. Uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Sorry, he has something he'd like to show you. Guys, look at this fucking dope ass piece that I got from Planet 13. Do you even listen to the dead? I'm going on the 13th to the sphere. You are? Yeah. With who? Brian Dorfman. Uh, I don't know. I've met Dorfman before. Dorf is the dude from Zanies. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... All right. Anywho. Um, uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok and Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. I will probably be changing my name because I like would like you know because when I get intro down the road, they introduce me as Jake Wolf, and I like to be introduced as Jacob Wolf. But it's because that's what my Instagram is. So I'm probably gonna change that up sometime soon. So if you see a change, don't worry, it's still me. Um, so thank you guys so much for always tuning in, the newbies, the oldies, and the future ease um, who are coming to listen to us. Uh, thank you so much. None of this is possible without you. And like always, do something nice for someone that I tell somebody you love. Them. We'll see you next week. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.